said, I'm uh, Lynn Necris, I'm from the Atmospheres Node at New Mexico State University. And I was asked to give a, uh, a brief a summary of what we've been doing with the, uh, the active development for uh, Latin mission. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you an idea, kind of a, uh, another little summary of a different little take on uh, what PDS4 is, how it applies to Latin itself, what Latin is, again, uh, been following that. Um, then some differences in how the way the data is going to be organized um, with the XML uh, bits that we've been talking about with Dan's talk, and then uh, where we are in the pipeline development as of right now, and then I'll uh, just take a few minutes to sum it all up. So what is PDS4? As we've been discussing, it's the latest incarnation of the, uh, the, the PDS archive, uh, which is slated for release later this year. Um, it's employing a centralized, self-consistent uh, information model. So this is a, you have these core principles that are driving everything else. And it's implemented through the use of these XML labels. Um, that has some, uh, some consequences that are, are, are good for the, uh, the community at large. Um, the central registry system, we touched on that a little bit. Um, We'll be putting uh, data that will be registered through this system and accessible. Um, added metadata that is going to be available through the XML uh, labels will be able to allow for some more enhanced search capabilities as we, we are also, as Dan had also summarized. Um, the big thing here is all missions approved for flight since November 2011 are going to be done with PDS4. So for, for anything that is, is flight proof for later here, anything that was flight proof before that, such as the Cassini mission and that kind of thing, PDS3 will still be uh, maintained for those missions. Um, and everything else past that will be uh, PDS4. And the first two missions that that really directly involves is down at the bottom here, which is uh, LADI, which will be in uh, May next year, and uh, set for launch. And uh, David's launch is uh, later that year, uh, set for November right now. Um, but the big thing I wanted to also make a note of here is that these are the only two missions right now that are in, in the big time planning phase of the launch. Uh, the bulk of the work that was going to be done with the PDS3, PDS4 bit is, is going to be in migrating data sets. And that's how we're going to gain a lot of experience on how we do uh, the, the new labels and XML and how that actually works with the, with the missions that we've already archived. Um, so there's a big, big chunk of that. At Atmosphere's Node, especially, we've been doing a lot of migration of older data sets to try to get, gain more experience with our own PDS4 system as we, as we move forward with the missions. So a couple other things that I've already mentioned, uh, XML versus ODL. So the ODL is the old system that uh, was developed back uh, for PS3, PS2, PS3. Um, the big difference here is that the uh, XML employs things called schemas. Uh, the way you can think of schemas are basically blueprints for making the labels. These schemas are directly validated against the information model. So the information, the information model gives us this framework. We produce these XML documents, these, these schema documents that tell you how to build the labels. And then we use those to, to validate all the way through the pipeline. Um, so basically the, the, the big change here is going to be the central registry versus the central catalog that we had in, in past systems. The big difference here is everything is a product. Everything is a product. So everything can be registered and tracked throughout the system. That includes data products, what, we, what we're going to be talking about in a minute, collections and bundles, uh, people. So any people associated with data products can, is registered as a product so they can be searchable in, 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 the, in the system. Documents, websites. So we have uh, user guide websites and that kind of thing. Uh, those will also be searchable so that you'll be able to, to find the easiest way to deal with the data. And uh, the search capabilities then are then based on the product level. Uh, so this is the first time it'll be down to that, that type of detail. Um, and the assigned priorities will, will order the searches and how, how the stuff comes back to you. Um, modernization has is, is been kind of a general theme for PS4 development. And so the idea there is that we're, we're kind of replacing this volume structure that some of you may be used to with the PDS3 system. This, is, this is, was really tied to the media. So this was tied to CDs, the amount of space that were on CDs and DVDs. Now that we're not encumbered by physical media, we have the internet and digital delivery, we, we can uh, 
basically organize these things into what makes more sense and not worry about the specific limitations to the physical medium. And basically, the, the, the structure is going to be bundle will be the larger structure, followed by bundles contain collections, and the collections contain the products. And we'll see some examples of that as I go along here. So, LADI. LADI is the uh, Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Experiment. Uh, this will be the first mission in PDS 4. Uh, the science team has agreed to uh, basically take on the responsibility of being the guinea pig. They're going to be the first ones out there that have to deal with a lot of new stuff. Um, they have basically three instruments that are, are going to be uh, archiving a neutral mass spectrometer. Um, and ultraviolet spectrometer will be handled by the atmosphere's node. Uh, lunar dust experiment will be handled by small bodies on uh, the dust subnode in Tucson. Um, what makes this a nice mission for us is that all of the data sets are really simple products for the most part. They're, they're what used to be called ASCII tables, they're just simple tables, um, which are now going to be called table characters. Um, so this gives us a chance to actually go through the, the, the whole process of acting with the pipeline, figuring out how we're going to do this in, in, in PDS4. So if you archived with uh, PDS in the past, the, the, the nodes, uh, interactions with the nodes are basically going to be the same as they have been. Uh, instrument teams will be working closely with the node, um, the specific nodes that are overseeing their, their uh, data archiving. Uh, we participate in their uh, their science planning mission uh, mission science planning meetings uh, to help uh, steer uh, questions towards how they're going to do the archive requirements and that kind of thing. Uh, software interface specifications of the documents, the SIS documents, the dreaded SIS, SIS documents. These are still going to be filed describing expected data products. Um, but of course, the big change is that these will be based on the new structures that are um, and the XML labels that are associated with PS4. Um, so the basic way that this would work would be to take XML labels um, based on the schemas of type of info models. So what we do is at the nodes, we would take the, the, the general schemas, tailor them down to what we expect the products to be. We send those back, the schemas, um, we, we make a template for the label, give those the templates to the, uh, the team, have them take a look at it, see if we've captured their data correctly. If not, they have an opportunity to come back and we can iterate this as many times as necessary but we can add uh, mission-specific stuff. There's uh, the ability within the XML labels to add uh, terms that make sense for different missions. So we can, we can have a mission area that we can add anything that's specific to LADI, for example. We could also see that there's um, some class things, keywords that are important for individual nodes. So we can actually add things in that make sense for, say, the atmospheres node versus small bodies node or, or, or any other node. And then the idea is that we go back and forth with the team on this to make sure that we get that, that label looking correctly and everything is captured for the metadata that will be used uh, in the archive. So data organization, um, and reiterating this point, uh, as, as we look at the data requirements for mission, the schemas are going to be tailored to that, that bit. Um, this is an interactive process. XML labels um, need to be processed the right way so we have, uh, they, they can be registered correctly and search, searches can be performed on the data at the end. Um, right now, the big change now is that a lot of people are not as familiar with XML as um, some of the general community outside of the planetary. So the PDS nodes are currently going, going to have to serve as the XML experts. We're the ones that work the most with the data, um, with, with the actual PDS4 system itself. So the, the nodes that are involved, at least in the first missions, are very willing to accept this possibility of going in and actually uh, doing a lot of work with the teams, making sure that the labels come out correctly in the first place. Um, for the LADI mission, we're looking at organizing the instrument bubbles. Um, Basically, bundles will be organized by instrument, uh, and, and the inside those instrument bundles will have various different collections that are pertained to that specific instrument. So collections will include, will include raw, reduced, calibrated versions of data, documentation, any other uh, ancillary data that needs to be considered, any other um, products that would make sense to, to understand that data, and also um, context products that are necessary for the system, the registry system to, to correctly um, find those products. It's a little graphic uh, version of that. 
So we look at here, um, this kind of nested structure. So bundles are the big picture. Inside the bundles, we can have multiple different collections. And within each of those collections, you can have different sets of products that are pertaining to that particular subject. So this is kind of, it mirrors also the, the, what the directory structure will look like. So for Laddie, here's an example. Um, just a basic example of what these different collections will look like. This is going to mimic what, they, what the directory structure will look like for these things. At the top is the instrument, so UBS, NMS, LDEX, and underneath that will be an in inventory that tells you what's in the, pro in the bundle, um, possibly a repeat text that tells you any information about it. You'll have context collection pertains to what need, is needed for the system, document collection for the data, um, data raw, calibrated, reduced, or whatever combinations of those will be needed. Those are still in negotiation right now. So where are we in the uh, pipeline development? Um, Larry team is experienced with PDS3, so that kind of helps us out in the first part, first place. Um, we've already made uh, label templates by they've given us sample data products. We've looked at those data products, made our best guesses. Um, they basically made XML templates. They're going back and taking a look at those now. Uh, and the, the end, end thing here is that the, uh, we have homegrown software right now that we're using for the migration effort that we can actually use to help uh, bring the data in from the mission to the uh, XML labels. So this complicated little diagram, uh, we're in the orange section, which is up in the corner. Uh, Pre-mission development, as I said, we were, we were developing the schemas and the, the labels themselves, giving them templates. That's that whole left hand, uh, right hand corner. They're in the sys development stage. They're going through editing these label templates, going through uh, making sure that they're writing the documents for the, the sys's. And then hopefully with, with launch uh, next year, we'll be able to start the, the data pipeline section. The, the section in the middle of this XML generation tool is, is, is what we're um, generically calling whatever we end up using for bringing the data in from the mission and putting it into the labels. This could be handled through the instrument teams. Uh, for these missions, it's pretty much going to be handled by us. Um, I think Small Bodies is going to do it a little bit differently, but we have our own little tools at the news that we can help with this. And then that should put, pop out um, XML labels that are already valid. They should already be set, and it puts us through there. So, as I said, things are going well with Laddie. We're up to uh, where we're supposed to be. Uh, they've got some deadlines coming up in fall uh, this, this uh, year, and uh, we'll be uh, making those deadlines, it looks like. So, what have we learned? This is the basics. Uh, I've already said most of this. Um, the big, the big take home message at the, at right now is that the PDS is going to have to be um, more involved, at least for the first several missions, so we get our hands on, on XML uh, and how the pipeline is going to actually be. But for, so far, for Latin especially, things have gone very smoothly. And so I'll just put a summary slide up there and I can take any questions if you can ask. Do we have one or two quick questions? All right, let's thank our speaker again.